Can girls make the first move? Yes. Hair up or down? Uh, up. Down. No. Go to a party or have a movie night? Movie, movie night. Anytime. Yes. Do guys notice the way girls dress? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Kiss on the first day or wait? Wait. For sure. Biggest turn off? Lying. Cheating. Yeah, all that. <laughs> Does it bother you if she has streaks with other guys? <laughs> yes. yes. Someone. Can a girl best friend turn into a girlfriend? For sure. Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, questions that we have for guys, part one. Okay, is it worse to be left on red or left on delivered? Delivered. Do you guys compare sizes? No. Is it true when guys send pictures of them with headsets that they're not interested? No. Nah. Do you guys prefer girls with or without makeup? Without. If so, how much is too much makeup? Cake. Biggest turn off? Oh, smell. Yeah. Bad smell. Are nipple piercings attractive? Doesn't matter. Tits or ass? Ass. Blonde or brunette? Brunette. Are teeth important? Like, yes. Deal breaker. If a girl has bad teeth, is it immediate? Like, yes. No. What color eyes are the best? Doesn't matter. What's, like, the hottest outfit a girl can wear? White shirt. Yeah. Blue What's jeans. What's the ugliest outfit? What are things that Something girls lazy. do that impress guys? Do it this and let us know. Ew. These are the things dudes think when they're falling in love. The things they won't tell anybody. When a guy's falling in love, he thinks about that girl at night. Almost every night. Literally, sometimes he might be feeling down, and you know what he's gonna do? Sit there and think about you. Whether he likes it or not, he is subconsciously planning to make you happy the next time you see him. He's thinking, what compliments do you like? What texts do you like to receive? What food do you like? Where do you like to go? And the list goes on. When a guy's falling in love, he'll just go to your Instagram, go to your most recent picture, and just look at it. To be creepy? No. He just enjoys looking at you. When he kisses you, he's literally thinking, this is bliss. This is amazing. He will think to himself, oh my god, this is it. This is the point of peak happiness. And later, he will reflect on that point and be like, holy shiz. That was amazing. We're about to tell you how to have a guy obsess over you in four <laughs> easy steps. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> Step one, always be self-motivated. Be, be confident. You have to be confident. Be guys love confidence. And when they ask sexy. you to hang out, don't always be free. Mm -mm. You want to keep a guy guessing. Always. Don't always ask like, what's up? What are you doing? Because then they're going to start being like, I wonder what she's doing. Mm -hmm. If you're laying off. They're gonna lay on you. Step three, guys always act the opposite. They do the opposite. So always. if you do not want a guy to hang out with their guys, you are going to tell them to go hang out with their guy friends. Fine. Guarantee they'll be like, she really told me to go hang out with them. Step four, guys love when you just can goof around with them. I know it's so cliche to say be yourself, but genuinely. They know when you're not yourself. Be Literally. funny, be outgoing, let them joke with you. If he exactly. makes fun of you, laugh with them. They're like, I just made fun of her and she didn't get Eat offended. in front of them. <laughs> Eat in front of them. Do anything in front of them. Part two of the highly requested how to have a guy obsess over you. Let's go. <laughs> Step one, friend zone him, but to a certain extent. Act like he's your homie, kind of bro him, especially if he's a guy that always gets a girl. He's going to be so thrown off. He's going to be like, why doesn't this girl want me? He's going to want you even more, girl. Word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Step two, don't act like his mom. Doing favors are cute. Doing gestures are cute. Mm -hmm. But seriously, he could do his own laundry. He could do what he has to do. The more you do for someone, the less they're going to do for you. Do less. Just do enough. It's perfect amount. Yes. Part three, guys like when you have your own opinion, have your own mind. You don't have to like everything they like. Do your own thing. Right. Be your own person. Mm -hmm. You do not need to depend on anyone. And this goes for when you first start with someone, mm -hmm. whether you're in a relationship, you are your own person. Guys like when you you show that you got Independent. yourself. Independent. <laughs> Independence is sexy. Girls, if you're wondering one thing that you could do to maybe make the difference between you potentially scoring it with a guy or not, here's one thing that girls have done in the past for me that have made the difference. And the difference was perfume. I cannot tell you how a guy feels when a girl's wearing the right perfume. How I feel is I just want to like wrap him up and give him a big hug and other perfumes, not so much. So if you're wondering what perfume scent you should use, I would suggest picking out a scent that just helps you to feel confident about yourself. Just please don't use one that smells like a a drenched in vanilla stale dandelion. Those just, they're too much.
Ooh. Ooh. What? Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm
we notice. Now, we might not even say anything about it, but I promise you, we know. Number two. Okay, if we are on FaceTime and you put us on pause, we know you're putting us on pause to either Snapchat somebody back or you're probably scrolling on Instagram. Number three. And girls, this one, it's going to blow your mind. If we are hanging out in public, we see you checking out that girl to make sure we're not looking at her. And the funniest thing is, is most of the time, we really aren't. Number four. Girls, don't lie. I'm pretty sure all of you do this. Anytime y'all are hanging out with a group of your friends, before y'all make any decision, y'all look directly at each other before making it. How to determine someone's toxic in your life, let's get it. Step one, when you have something really good happen to you and the person that you're with or the person that you told isn't happy for you, that is one very important sign that they are toxic. Step two, you are always wrong. You're getting blamed for everything, even when you are right. You're wrong. Always. Step three, when you hang out with someone and all they do is gossip about other people, they are toxic. If they're talking about other people, they're probably talking about you too. Step four being belittled by a toxic person it's so easy for them to sit there and stoop you down to their level than to fix themselves five they have a lack of gratitude they're always just ungrateful they're always complaining they're always wanting more instead of appreciating what they actually have right in front of them number six ghosting toxic people have a habit of coming in and out of your life when it's convenient for them lastly step seven it's just drama when somebody is excited that bad things are happening that drama is happening they are toxic so trust me when i say if a guy is treating you like he doesn't give a shit he genuinely doesn't give a shit exactly no exception. exactly what guys actually mean part five yeah yeah, yeah five five when we say you look better without makeup, you do. Every girl looks better without makeup, but we also don't like the taste of your makeup, like the blush and the lipstick, it doesn't taste good. When we say that's cool, it's not cool. Obviously we're mad about something. It's like a girl saying, I'm fine. She's not really fine. <laughs> when we say you're beautiful, it's the truth because we would never say you're beautiful unless we mean it. We'll either say you're cute or you're pretty. I'm gonna talk about this one again because there's a lot of misconceptions about it. When we say we do not want a relationship right now, it does not mean we just want you in bed. It means we had a really bad relationship in the past and we're not mentally ready for another one. Tea time, part one. Hey. So if a guy is taking forever to respond, leaving you on delivery, He's not into he's you. He's not into you. Like, just take a hit. You'll know if a guy's into you or not. Like, they make it very obvious, I feel like. Every now and then, if they take a while to respond, they're probably yeah, just they're busy. Yeah, they're going to hard to get, but, but you'll But if it's every know. time... It's over. They're Don't. not into you. Just take yeah, a hit, Just girl. take a hit. Okay, these are the top emojis to use. These are what guys love. The little puppy dog face. We'll put it right here. Black heart, kind of uh -huh. sexy. Um, what else? Little oh, parentheses. Smiles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't be too into him. Uh -uh. Guys like hard to get. Like, but not too hard that they're you like. You make yourself too interested. easy. They don't. They want something they have they to want, work yeah, for. Yeah, they want know? hard to get. They want some like. They want a competition. But don't be too hard to get yeah. where they think that you're just so. Not don't into always them. be available. You just know? be yeah. <laughs> little balance <laughs> okay so when you're hanging out with him be super into him be like so touch fun. him yeah so fun but like when you're not with him be don't hard text to get. him first yeah. wait for him to text you after hanging out yep new series how to be a bad bitch part one this is all about playing him before he plays you so you just started talking to a guy and you're in the first like two or three days side note this guy has to be a fuck boy please do not do this to a nice guy he does not deserve it okay so what you're gonna do is just snap like normal for a day or two this is the time when they're the most interested in you and they're actually responding. And then randomly, you just ghost the fuck out of him, okay? Like, don't even leave him on open. Just leave him on delivered for like 24 hours. If you have a streak, it's okay to lose it. And then after a full day, you're going to post the hottest selfie on your snap story. Whether it's your main story, your private story, or the private story you made just for him. This is the thirst trap. Nine times out of ten, they're gonna slide up and respond. If they don't, I don't know what to tell you. This is when you go back to talking like normal again. Repeat as many times necessary to drive this boy fucking crazy. Let me know how this goes. How to successfully get over someone. Let's go. Step one. This is going to sound absolutely insane, but in order to successfully master getting over your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend, you must wish them the best. What does that mean? Don't hate on them. Don't hope that they get cheated on. Don't hope that they die. Don't hurt. Don't hope that they get hurt. Let that all go. Because guess what? When you hate on someone from a distance, you're holding on to them. Let them go. If you are able 
to wish the best for your ex, you have successfully mastered getting over them. Two, go to the gym, go to school, do your homework, write an essay, go to work, do things that you absolutely love to do. Three, master being alone. Allow yourself to be okay with being by yourself. Love yourself. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself that you're beautiful. Tell yourself you're the best. Alright, do you like when a girl bites your lip? No. I do. Um, do you like when a girl has a messy bun? Yes. Do you like when a girl wears Air Forces? Yes. Do you like when a girl makes the first move? Yes. Do you like when a girl likes to be the big spoon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. um, do you like when a girl wears glasses? Yes. Okay. Chubby cheeks? Which ones? <laughs> Both of them. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For all my ladies out there, real quick, listen up. If you Snapchat in a dude and he Snapchat you like this, he has no interest in you whatsoever. Just know that. If his face is in it, he's interested in you. Like this. Exactly. Things dudes think, but don't say to girls. Part four. You know, sometimes we're thinking, we're just like, God, I want to marry you, but we're not going to say that. Like, that's, that's very forward. We want to compliment your physique, but we just don't know how to do it, you know, respectfully. Sometimes we're going to disagree with you, but we might not say anything because we, we just don't want to make you mad. We might think of like a better way to do something, but we're afraid of like you thinking we're like, you know, mansplaining you. You know, when, when we're really into you, we'll think about you literally all day, but we're not going to tell you that because we don't want to come off as like creepy. <laughs> Lastly, we want to tell you you're the most beautiful girl we've ever met, but we know the answer is just going to be no. And that hurts. If there is one thing that I feel like every girl needs to know about a dude. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Gentlemen, please let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. All right, guys, do not play hard to get. And if they do play, it's because us females initiate the game. If you start off talking to this guy, making it known that you like him, you will not question whether or not he likes you back. Because if you put forth that energy, being bold like, yes, I like you, and he likes you back, the energy is reciprocated. He's not going to keep you guessing. Because if you like him and he likes you, and you show that, there's no hesitation. There's no game. There's no front. There's no poker face. If they like you, you're going to know it. Things that turn guys off to the max. Okay, here we go. If I'm on a date with you, or we're Snapchatting, right? And I ask you a stupid question like, how's your dog? And you give me a one-word response? You think I would give a rat's ball sack about your dog? Like, maybe, but how am I supposed to respond? Bond to good. Like, what? This blows my mind. This blows my mind. Girls just expect guys to wear the conversation on their back. Like, no, I care about you. And I want to know about your life. Maybe ask me about mine. Oh! Dating advice from, from the expert. <laughs> okay, number one. If he doesn't respect his mom, he's not going to respect you. Like, no. That's a reflection. If he has four letters in his name, starting with a C or a J, ooh, baby, get out of there. The only J you need in your life is Jesus. Facts. Okay. If he's a frat boy, you know he's messing with Emma from Apple Beta Pi. <laughs> um, if he only hits you up at night, he's using you. Yeah. And if he wants to meet you up instead of pick you up, he does not care about you, honey. If you have to touch a door, no. Absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And if you feel the need to always check his phone or his location, then constantly. he is clearly not for you. No. And if he doesn't remember things like your one month, your three month, your birthday, or important things to you, then he doesn't no. respect you. Hi guys, so today we are going to talk about 10 flirting techniques that psychology has proven to work. 
let's go. One of the best ways to get a boy to fall in love with you is eye contact. Stare deep into their eyes because it's been shown that people with really good eye contact are more well-liked. Wear red. It has been found that the color red actually makes you more attractive to the opposite sex and that goes for males and females. People have found that the funnier you are, the more attractive people perceive you to be. So you gotta be funny. Play hard to get. Studies have shown that if you think something is unattainable, you are going to want it 10 times more. Research has also found that men find women who smile much more attractive than women who do not. And they say it's because it shows submission, which I don't like, but smile. However, for men, you are actually found to be more attractive if you are not smiling. But I like smile.